This overview of Bunny.net as a video hosting service should help you determine whether or not Bunny's gonna work for your needs versus something else like Vimeo. Inside of Bunny, you can do a lot more than just host videos, but all of the video hosting is done here within Stream. In Stream, you can create as many streams as you want. I'd recommend just having one stream. And then inside of the stream, you can have collections. So here's different collections that I've set up. If we go into a collection, this is where all of the videos would be for that particular collection. The player, you can customize easily. So you can choose your own colors and your own fonts. You can choose what buttons you want to have available in the player interface. And you can even customize this further with custom CSS and put in some tracking as well. There's a nice feature that shows a heat map of watch time. You can enable that if you want to. That's something that's pretty common on YouTube where in the video player interface, you'll see these peaks and valleys where people are watching the most of your video or engaging. You can build in advertising. This is something I haven't played with yet, but I am looking into doing that. That's a nice feature to explore. So when you upload the video into Bunny, it will automatically encode it into different formats. You can choose which resolutions you wanna serve up, and you can also add a watermark. One of the best features is transcribing. When you upload a video, there's a very little cost for this, but it does a pretty great job of creating your closed captions and creating a video transcript. Uh, so you can enable this if you want to. It's one cent per minute of video. You can have it automatically create a title and a smart description, which I'll show you what that looks like in the actual video itself. And then you can select multiple languages. So you can get multilingual video transcripts automatically. The security features are really strong. There's general settings and DRM settings. If you wanna protect your videos from being downloaded, you can enable that. Delivery is where you can choose what tier you want to deliver your videos at. You can select different areas to stream from. If you're a global organization, you can set up distribution from other countries to make sure that videos load really quickly in that country. And then you can choose different replication or different storage areas as well. So if you have a big audience in uh, the United States and in Australia, then you can add in different locations. So for example, I could say, okay, I wanna start adding a location in Sydney to make sure that my videos load really fast down in Australia. Then you get statistics as well. So if we go in and take a look at statistics, you can see how much watch time your videos have been streamed for this particular collection that you're looking at. And then you have an API, which allows you to do a whole lot more, very technical, very advanced things here. And um, that's something that you're not gonna get in, in most other platforms. Coming back to the video itself, if we go into collections and then we choose one of the videos, this is the player, this is the video configuration interface. You can adjust the title. This is the one that came up with automatically. This is the transcript that it automatically added. You can upload a custom thumbnail or choose one from the video. You can determine how the video is embedded. So it can be responsive. I don't know why you would turn that off, but responsive is on by default. You can have the video auto play. So as soon as the page loads, the video can play automatically. You can preload the video. You can set the video to loop so that when it ends, it plays back again. And then you can set it to be muted by default. To embed a video in a website, you would simply copy this link right here or copy this code and paste it into the website. For circle, the direct play URL, this is the URL that we use to embed videos into a circle post, for example, courses as well. Taking a look at captions, this is where you can upload different language closed captions. So when somebody clicks the CC icon, if you've uploaded multiple languages, it'll let them choose the closed captions in their preferred language. That's really nice. Chapters are blocks in the timeline. So if you add chapters, it'll add a color block to the timeline, similar to how YouTube does things automatically. And 
You can add moments. I really like moments. Moments add these little dots to the timeline where you can quickly jump ahead to a bookmark. This is great for longer videos or if you wanna highlight something really important in the video, you can simply add the time that the important moment happens down here in this interface and Bunny will add a dot to the timeline to call attention to it. You get video statistics for each video here in the video screen as well. And then you can uh, look at transcoding, see if there's any errors or anything that's gone wrong in your, your transcoding. Now that we have a basic understanding of all of the video hosting features in bunny.net, we're gonna take a look at how easy it is to embed a video into a circle community. The direct play URL is the, the method I recommend. It works perfectly well in comments, in courses, and in the site builder, but you can also use this embed code option in the site builder if you want to, and you could use this embed option to embed the video in other platforms like WordPress, for example. So what I'm gonna do to embed this video is copy the direct play URL, and then I'm gonna head back into Circle, and if I wanna add this video to a comment, I can simply choose the embed option and then I'll paste in that direct play URL. It's gonna drop the video into the comment section. If I wanna embed the video into the new Circle Site Builder, I go into Elements, I go down to the Embed Media option, drag it onto the page, and then paste my embed code here. And now the video is embedded in my Site Builder page. It works the same way inside of the courses as well, if you wanna embed it into the featured area of a course. Hopefully this video helps you understand whether or not bunny.net is the right hosting platform for your Circle community. Please use my affiliate link to sign up to support the channel.